You've seen this before, a familiar shape in the garden, lying still in the sun. But what if, when you got closer, it moved? This is the garter snake. And if you live anywhere in North America, from Canada to Central America, you've probably met one. They are the most common, most widespread, and most misunderstood snake on the continent. And today, we're going to uncover their secrets. So let's get the big question out of the way first, the one everyone asks. You see this face in your garden and you think, is it dangerous? Are garter snakes venomous? The answer is, technically, yes. But wait, don't click away. This is the most important part. Their saliva contains a very, very mild neurotoxin. It's so weak, it's completely harmless to humans. You'd have a worse reaction to a bee sting. This venom is just strong enough to stun their favorite prey, like an earthworm or a slug. So for you, me, and our pets, they are considered non-venomous and completely harmless. So if a bite isn't their weapon against big threats like us, how do they defend themselves? You might be surprised. Their first line of defense isn't a bite, it's a smell. This is musk, a super stinky, foul-smelling liquid they release from a gland near their tail. It's their way of saying, I taste disgusting, leave me alone. And trust me, it works. If that doesn't work, they might flatten their head to look bigger and more intimidating. And some will even rattle their tail in dry leaves to mimic a rattlesnake. It's all a big dramatic bluff. Okay. So they're masters of defense, but what are they eating that makes them so essential to have around? Forget pesticides. This is your garden's secret bodyguard. Garter snakes have a huge menu. They feast on slugs that chew your lettuce, grasshoppers that eat your flowers, earthworms, leeches, and even small rodents. They are a vital part of the ecosystem, keeping pest populations in perfect balance. Seeing one of these is a sign of a healthy garden. They eat pests all summer long. But what happens when the weather turns cold? They don't fly south. They do something far more incredible. And what you are about to see is one of the greatest spectacles in the entire animal kingdom. They find a deep, frost-free cave or burrow called a hibernaculum, and they don't go there alone. This is a snake den. Thousands, sometimes tens of thousands of garter snakes gather together to share body heat and survive the winter. It's a tangled, slithering city of snakes. It is the largest gathering of reptiles on planet Earth. When spring arrives and this giant snake party is over, another surprise is waiting. You might think snakes lay eggs, right? Many do, but not the garter snake. Garter snakes are ovoviviparous which is a fancy way of saying they give birth to live young. A mother can have anywhere from 10 to 40 tiny, independent, and utterly adorable baby snakes ready to go out and start hunting slugs from day one. So the next time you see that flicker of movement in the grass, don't be scared, be grateful you're looking at a harmless, helpful, and truly fascinating survivor. A dedicated pest controller, a master of disguise, and a devoted parent who throws the biggest parties on Earth. The garter snake isn't the monster in your backyard. 
It's the hero. Have you ever seen a garter snake? Tell us your story in the comments below. We'd love to hear it. And if you learned something new today, give this video a like and subscribe for more amazing wildlife facts. Thanks for watching.